everyone, and welcome to a video I really don't want to record. Look, I've had this idea in my back pocket for like over a year now, and I don't want to do it, but I know it's so good. Today, we're going to be reading and reenacting, acting out Tommy in it fan fiction. How could this go wrong? Tommy in it. Oh, it's already there. Fan fiction. Love or host. Tommy in it. Two million reads? This is a six hour long book about falling in love with me. I have a girlfriend. No, no. Let me make a Wattpad account. Valerie Amelia Davis. It's not my fault he likes me best. Valerie, stay away. Off limit. Tommy in it. Tom Simons. You're not bad for an American woman. Ah! Chapter one. Who is Tommy in it? 83,000. Okay. All right, so set the scene. We're in a dinner table, we're in school, and I'm playing Valerie Davis. Okay, but hear me out. When I become a famous streamer, I'll make Overwatch more popular again. My best friend Lindsay rambles to me. I'm not half tuning her out. How the history test go? Paige asks me. Not too bad. I reply, wiping peanut butter from the corner of my mouth. Why is it that you two only care about video games and YouTube? Paige asks, rolling her eyes. We don't just care about that. We also watch Twitch. Lindsay says, smugly. Is this what you like? Yeah, you like chatting about this in the lunch tables all the time. Bragging about the Twitch you watch. Ow! Are you able to watch someone play video games for hours? straight, I ask. Once you'll find the right streamer, you'll understand, Matthew says, peeling an orange. The right streamer? I ask, eyebrow raised. Yeah, it's like your favorite YouTuber or favorite band. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Shut the fuck up, Matthew. Don't call me trash. I'm treasure. Let's get to me. Let's get to me. All right, so now the story's moved forward. We're in the, we're in the bedrooms of Lindsay and Valerie. You got a notification. Let me see what it is. After reading the notification, her jaw drops. She drops her phone, puts her hands on the mouth, and starts shrieking quietly. <laughs> Holy shit, are you okay? I put my hand on Lindsay's shoulder and rub them gently. She breaks free from my hole to grab a pillow and buries her face into it. Oh my god! She screams into her pillow. She looks up from her pillow, beaming brightly. I've been waiting for this one. She pumps her fist into the air and claps loudly. What are you talking about? I say, more confused than nervous. Lindsay shows me her phone and I squint to read what's on it. She's on Twitter, on a page called Austin Not Twitter. The tweet says, at Tommy in it love. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me, man? At Tommy in it love or host on January 29th. Auditions held this Sunday. Join the call or DM at Get On Austin Show to apply. I look up from the phone and bite my lip. <laughs> Who's Tommy in it? Lindsay's jaw drops. I know you're clueless about streamers, but come on, Valerie. You have got to know who Tommy in it is. I'm starting to like this Lindsay fellow. That thing you just said, Lindsay. People should just. No. He's privately became a celebrity at 16 years old. Holy shit, let's get married. No. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I move a strand of dark brown hair out of my face. What's love or host? In this one, 10 girls will compete with each other to try to win over Tommy. They get to choose between two options, love or host. If Tommy chooses a girl that chose love, they win the show. Do people actually start dating if they win the show? No. Fun fact, no, they don't. I hate everyone who did my love or host. Every one of them, except Olive. They're great. But everyone else. I know you're probably not interested in this. I'm I'm actually very interested. Lindsay raises an eyebrow and gives me a look that says, come on, be serious. Wow, speak of the devil, you just went live. <laughs> I did? Let's watch, I say, sitting next to her on the bed. She pulls up Tommy's stream that currently has 180,000 viewers. <laughs> okay, different, okay, different time, everyone. Is, is... Damn, he's popular, I'm uh, under my breath. Please, his top view account is 650,000. This is nothing. Oh, Lindsay, mate! Lindsay, you fucking get me, mate. Oh, mate. I wish I knew someone as supportive as you. All these bloody haters. You're the real one in this story. The person on the screen has messy blonde hair. The most... Gorgeous crystal blue eyes I've ever seen. He has fair skin with a slight pink undertone to it, and he's wearing a slightly wrinkly red and white t-shirt and black headphones on top of his head. Holy crap. He's beautiful. Ah! Thanks, I guess. Thanks. Thank you, I think. But I don't re- I, uh, um, this is a lot for one individual to take in. Sup, chat! He shouts, popping open a can of Coca-Cola. Welcome back to the stream, boys. Let's out a laugh. <laughs> Revealing his beautiful smile. He has a thick British accent, which tells me he's from the United Kingdom. Well done, Valerie. Somehow, he still intrigues me. We finish the stream within two and a half hours, and I'm sold. Tommy's funny, cute, 
has a great personality, great energy, and the best laugh I've ever heard. He's cool. I might tune into his level host, actually. Oh, Pog. I shoot her a confused glance. She scratches her head. Pog basically means cool in the Twitch community. So, uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Lindsay nods, pulling out her phone. I exit the room and head towards the bathroom. So, I downplayed my reaction. This guy isn't just cool. He seems amazing. I entered the bathroom and locked the door behind me. Put my back against the door and slide to the floor, curled up in a bowl, ball on the cold tile. I take out my phone, download Twitter, and log into my old account. I sigh, and with trembling fingers type in how to make a video audition. Wow, we just finished chapter one. This is a lot for me. This is, this, 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 wow. But you know what? I've got to know what happens next. It's Sunday. The auditions are due today. And Austin will be calling back girls today. I feel pretty confident with my application. Only 10 girls can be on the show. And there are thousands of people sending in applications. I can only hope and pray I'm one of the lucky 10. Fuck it out. Oh, mate. Oh. One new Twitter DM. With trembling hands, I open it. Hello, Valerie. It reads, We are pleased to inform you that we have taken a strong liking to your application to be on Tommy and its level host and request to do a live interview on the Gondok channel. Please respond if you can make it. I quickly type a response. Hi. Yes, I'm available. Thank you so much for considering me. I squeal with delight. I take this opportunity to clean up my room so it looks presentable in front of thousands of people. It ends up looking like this. Oh man. No offense, but this looks exactly like the Bo Burn and White Woman's Instagram song. Certainly lacks a Lamanberg flag, that's for sure. I huff in satisfaction. Should we just skip to the point where they speak to me? Because this is this 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 Chapter 4, I didn't know you were into blondes. Oh, oh no! It's got my POV! Oh no, no, no! They've told me what my thoughts are! So at this point, we're getting into the level host. We're all in the Zoom call. There's me and there's Valerie. Oh, fucking shit, piss. I need to take off this. I'm getting overheated. I join the chat room. Then after a few seconds, he joins. Tommy in it. Tommy's POV. I read this as though I'm me. I glance around the call to see everyone who's there. They are all pretty. But there's one girl that really stands out. Valerie. She's the prettiest one. <laughs> I look at her and smile. That's the one I'm going to talk to first. She catches me looking at her and her eyes grow wide. She looks to the ground almost immediately. That was cute. Oh, mate. Nah, nah, nah. I have a girlfriend. This is strange. This is strange. This is strange. This is inherently This is strange. Guys, this is a lot. So I'm immersed in the story now. It would be a crime of me to stop. It would be a crime. She's pretty, but there's also a possibility that she's a bitch. <laughs> this is my thought process when when courting. <laughs> Valerie's POV. Did I just catch Tommy in it staring at me? No way. There's no way. He looks exceptionally handsome. So, Tommy decides to speak to Valerie in the, in the Zoom call. Who are you? My name is Valerie Orval, and I'm not a streamer, but a senior in high school. I'm 18 years old, a Virgo, and I'm majoring in criminology. I'm super excited that I was given the opportunity to be here, and I'm grateful, Tommy. Valerie, I say, I know it's your accent. Please don't tell me you're American. Whoops. I forgot about the America thing, thinks Valerie. Jesus Christ, I wish I wasn't, I say. America sucks, Tommy replies, smirking. Damn right it does. Get me out of here. I'd rather be in my own country. Too bad you guys don't have a queen, Tommy says. Bro, I wish I had a queen. Not just any queen, but the queen. You're a fan of the queen? Duh. Who are you talking about, Tommy rubs his chin. I have to make sure we're on the same page. Queen Elizabeth of England, of course. Who else would I be talking about? You're not saying this to just impress me, right? Valerie shakes her head. I would never lie on the queen name. My cheeks burst into flame after the last comment. I look over to Tommy, whose face is more pink than usual. I mean, do people notice things like that? Do people notice when my face changes? In real life, I've never ever thought about anyone's point of view other than my own. See how that sounds? I wouldn't, I've never been like, I wonder if I look redder now. If I, I, I'm, I don't think I have, hear me out. A lot of self-awareness. Chapter six, could we get the vlog gun? Oh my God, how many chapters are there? Does Turbo join? Yeah! Tomo does join the call. Okay, 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 okay. Now, we're going to bring someone very special onto the show, Austin says. I raise an eyebrow, wondering what that could mean. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Tommy's best friend, the gay we... The guy we all know and love. Sorry. Tomo! A bunch of girls clasp. So, or clap. <laughs> clasp. Hi, guys. A meek voice says, 
I'm Tubbo! Tubbo! Tommy shouts enthusiastically. Tommy! Tubbo yells, matching his energy. Tubbo, for this next round, we're going to need you to expose a secret Tommy has to figure out the prompt for our next question, Austin says. Oh, I've got a good one for you guys, Tubbo says, laughing. I think uh, uh, Tommy is not really Nick but free. He's six foot one. I would have known. you are in your life. Austin gasps. Tubbo, no, Tubbo. Tommy says, trying to redeem himself. It's not true, ladies. I am six foot three, a tall man. Tubbo just exposed you, Tommy! Austin yells through gasps of laughter. All jokes aside, I hope you're not six foot three. Valerie says. My dad is six foot three and I'm five five and I feel like I have to look up to you the way I look up to my dad. Wow, only Americans would, would draw the line between partner and dad that quick. How old is your dad? Tommy, I, mate, mate, mate. If someone was like, I don't want to look at you because you're a man and my dad is also a man and, and looking at you would remind me of my dad. I would not just move on from that. Chapter seven, just get her off. I don't think you quite understand what that means. Okay, guys, just so you know, I've been skipping through this. I'm now, I'm now at chapter 15, Among Us. But I promise we're going to find the end now. Now, what's happened to the protagonist is well, they've won the level host and then they're flying to England. They're in the airport. I pull up my phone about to text Tommy and ask where he is. I look up at the doorway and my jaw drops, as does Tommy's. You're real. Tommy doesn't finish his sentence as we both walk over to each other and wrap our rounds at... I'll, 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 wrap our, I'll wrap our arms around each other. We melt into the hug, and I bury my face into his neck. Oh, mate. This I, this kind of, I'm not even being... This feels like cheating. This is weird. Oh, I'm not... Oh, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. But next, rather than deciding to read a story, I wrote my own. Tommy x Turbo. Tommy and Turbo are on a walk along the Brighton seafront. Turbo says to Tommy, God, I'd love to kiss you one day as a joke. Tommy laughs. <laughs> Tubbo, don't be disgusting. We all know we can't do that. It just wouldn't fit. Like a key going into the wrong door. Tubbo is sad. Tubbo is so, so sad. Tubbo debates doing unthinkable things to the world, but he doesn't. Tubbo then says to Tommy, would you leave me for Molly? Tommy says, yes, yes, I love you. I have done all this time. It is because I just, I love you. Molly hears this. She was hiding in a nearby bin the whole time because Molly loves bins. Molly is a freak. Molly is a freak of nature. Molly says, what? But it is too late. The deed has been done. It starts to rain, but also a rainbow appears. It is so romantic. Molly dies. Tommy and Tubbo look to one another. Tubbo says, I always knew this day to be true. Tommy in it says, I'm the best. Tubbo says, I know, baby girl, I know. Tommy takes a big breath. He wonders if he's doing the right thing. If letting Molly die and also leaving her for Tubbo was good. But there is no time to think. He feels like God. Tommy says to Tubbo, you are B-boy. You are B-boy. You are B-boy. He starts to chant it. All of the ants and other insects join in. They chant, you are B-boy. You are B-boy. You are B-boy. He is so happy he begins to float. Tubbo can float whenever he is so happy. He has just never, ever been so happy. So he has never floated. Tubbo says, thank you for unlocking this within me. Tommy in it says, I know, baby girl. I know. Tommy rides the waves because he is surfing them with Tubbo's infinite love and happiness. Molly's corpse remains rotting. Years go by. They float through the clouds until one day Tubbo says, may we kiss? Tommy thinks about it. A few more years pass. They fall closer and closer together until Tommy in it says, let's kiss. They kiss. Tubbo insists on Tong and Tommy denies. It creates momentary awkwardness, but the two prevail. Then they kiss with no Tong. All poverty is healed and everyone agrees and there are no more homeless and also there is no more conservative party and no more any issues ever because the two have kissed and the world is in peace. Everyone shears. The end. Oh, wow. Wow. And now... The people can see it. Let's see what they have to say. This seemed like a, an overwhelming amount of support from the from the viewers here. <laughs> just want to say at the end of the video, it's totally fine if you make Wattpads. Look, as long as they're not sexual, it's just a bit of fun. I'm probably never going to read them again. And sorry to that person I embarrassed by reading that. But hey, uh, do your creative writing. It's cool, man. All right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.